So hey, it's Ken Parkin with Keller Williams. I am with Laura Witt, Mortgage Architects. Happy New Year, everybody. How are you doing, Laura? Good morning. I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Um, 2020, we're here. It's a new year, a new decade. And uh, Laura and I have sort of been talking behind the scenes about what kind of content we want to bring this year to you guys. So if you have any input, feel free to uh, send us a message, leave a comment, a DM, whatever it is, wherever you're seeing this. Uh, today's video, we really want to talk about what we're seeing in 2020. We're just trying to figure out kind of what direction the real estate market is going. Uh, probably the economy as well. It's going to follow suit. There's a lot of stuff happening this year, specifically in the States with the election um, and all of that uh, political mess that's happening down there right now, which we won't get into, but that is going to impact what happens up here this year, I think. Laura, how do you foresee the 2020 real estate market from a mortgage standpoint, from your ex expertise, how do you see it happening this year? What's, what's going to happen? Well, I mean, the next uh, rate announcement is going to be this Wednesday, the 22nd. Um, the economy right now, finger on the pulse, it's, it's kind of steady as it is. So we don't see really any changes to rates, which I mean, is neither good nor bad. No increases, no decreases, just kind of staying where we are. Um, there's Brexit to throw in that mess as well as far, you know, on top of everything happening in North America. Sure. So I think for, you know, the next quarter, at least it's, we're just going to kind of truck along here, um, until maybe some other things are solidified, definitely, uh, politically, but also see where, where supply and demand and everything else happens. What are you seeing with supply and demand in your market? Yeah, it's interesting. We're normally you know, in a balanced to sort of buyer's real estate or seller's real estate market where there is, um, you know, less or so a seller's market is more buyers, a buyer's market, there's more sellers, there's more opportunity. Right now we're in a fairly heavy seller's market. And so that means that there's a lot less listings and a lot of buyers, you know, in Milton uh, a week or so ago, which, so we're in the middle half of January, um, there was over 200 plus showings and over 60 offers on a property in Milton. This property is distressed. It was priced to undervalue, but still, I mean, it, it, it's showing you, you know, the activity of what we're kind of foreseeing for the rest of the year. Now there's some things that you talked about, uh, some political, uh, things that could impact our, our economy and then would impact our real estate market. But I really think that um, for 2020, we're going to be very even keeled or it's going to be and dive into a crazy seller market. So if you're thinking about moving, um, you've really got to sit down and make a plan because, you know, if you're not going to put your house up for sale and then try and find something for sale, there's not going to be anything out there, right? So if you have a house to sell, you really need to come up with a plan. And that's where we work together to you know, ensure that that plan goes off without a hitch. Basically, I have to find you a house first. Your first time home buyer, you've really got to talk to Laura and, uh, and, and really figure out your finances and get all of your ducks in a row, right? Just 30 seconds or a minute, Laura, what is sort of the ducks in a row plan for a first time home buyer? What should they do when they're contacting you? What do they need to have? All those sorts of things. Um, I always provide anybody, regardless if it's their first time or their fifth time with a, a checklist. Um, everything's really been tightened as far as requirements are concerned, documentation, so on and so forth. So, you you know, gone are the days where you provided an employment letter and you get a mortgage, right? So right. the document list, we want to see your income and there's various forms that we need. And we need about two to three years, depending on uh, your situation. Um pay stubs, letters of employment, two years notice of assessments, perhaps T4s or T4As if you're commissioned, um, down payment, at least 90 days for um, down payment and closing cost confirmation. And based on the time it takes to just even find these documents and send them over, you don't want to be doing this right before you want to put an offer in because they need to be verified and so on and so forth. So the sooner you can get above, or sorry, the sooner you can get ahead a of the game, the better. It's not going to be as stressful. I mean, buying a house is stressful enough. 
Um, you want to make sure you're confident in what you can afford before going out there and putting an offer, even shopping at this point. Yeah, for sure. For sure. And I feel like a lot of people, you know, do leave it to the last minute thinking that it's going to be an easy process. And like you said, times have changed and not just times have changed the way that the industry is now looking at people has changed significantly. And so, um, you know, if you're thinking about affordability or, you know, how much you need down or, you know, all of those questions, uh, Laura is a great contact to reach out. So we'll put her information below. Um, so yeah, so I think 2020 is gonna be very positive. I think if you are going to, uh, if you're, if you are looking to just buy a home, there are going to be challenges and you are going to have to deal with professionals. It's not just going on realtor.ca and saying, Hey, where do we go here? Um, there's a whole process behind it that you got to, uh, you got to sit down and talk to professionals about it, and we'd love to do that with you. So Laura, thank you so much. Hope you have uh, an amazing rest of uh, this month and, and this year. And uh, we'll be on really again real soon. Sounds good. You as well. Chat soon. All right. Have a great day, guys.